What up guys, Mad Viking here. It's raining. There ain't shot to do. So I figured I would uh, do my unboxing video that I've been talking about forever and a day. I actually have another one coming in the mail, but I just wanted to get this out of the way so I can get these boxes out of my house and out of my way. So I'm gonna jump right into it. I do have one uh, grail item here. I'm gonna save that one for last. Uh, <laughs> Jeez. Hang on. All right, there we go. Technical difficulties. So uh, I know it's in one box because it's been sitting in my garage forever since I bought it. Since I bought it from uh, one of my friends here, and I'll bring it up when I get to it. I just don't remember what box it is. Get the air out of these things. All right. Well, that's good. That's already here. I did buy his partner. So in box one, of course, we have first time in the line. Yo, <laughs> I was just about to say YOLO. It's Otis. Uh, he'll be a part of a massive figure unboxing, unboxing video. Not this, not this type of unboxing video. Uh, so I know I have, if I don't already have the other one, it's coming, but it should be. So he, is now part of the line. I have a couple Mandy's, so she'll be in my big figure unboxing. Uh, this is when you can still actually get into this gear. So that's box number one. Oh, and if you don't know right now, what is it? Amazon, eBay. He's selling for face value and Tucker is selling for like 15, $18. So if you're looking for these guys, screw the scalpers and screw stores. Well, that is it unless you don't have Prime. I don't remember them ever holding these belts, so someone will have to explain that to me. But you can find him cheap right now. Screw the scalpers. Go get him on Amazon. So there's Otis. Figure number one. Oops. Cats are in the box. <sighs> little bored because there ain't anything to do here in Florida. I took that little vacation and it was little best. I could use another one for sure. All right. Ah, okay. I guess I, I probably bought her on Mercari. So the next figure out of the unboxing is Natalia. She's perfect condition. I did actually could find some of these guys in stores, but they would always be stripped. I had no problem finding Lance Dorado or AJ or Finn, but I never found Goldberg or Andrade. I had to buy Andrade after Merc Harry. So I figured this might've been one of her last figures, but it's not from what I could just saw on something today. She's getting a retro type figure, but it's an elite of her early, early, early days. I don't even remember the outfit that the figure is wearing, so. She is getting another figure, but she's going to look younger from, you know, I mean, how long has she been in the WWE? Uh, God, I think she used to wrestle at Bourbon Street by my house, but I wasn't going to those uh, events back then. Uh, so I probably missed her and uh, PJ and Davey, but they were there at one point. Uh, oh, this, okay. <laughs> you, <laughs> I don't want to give his address away. From Unstable. So yeah, Christian, this has been in my garage for however long ago. Ah, it's wrapped in Dunkin' Donuts back. <laughs> oh no, is this one? <laughs> it's not even in a bag. He just decided to give me a Dunkin' Donuts bag. He's probably wondering why I never mentioned this. I'm just now opening it, Christian. <laughs> This might have been last year when I, yeah, it was last year when I bought this off of him. <laughs> so, oh God, but yeah, he was selling it. I don't know what I paid for it, probably 40 bucks. But uh, this is from my friend Christian. Uh, I explained this. <laughs> so, I still love, I'm still in love with his first figure. Uh, I really don't like how they've turned him like into a cartoon or a parody or whatever the hell he's supposed to be now. The, the kid-friendly devil worshiper. <laughs> it's just weird. If you go to my... I don't even know if I have those new those new picks up. Eventually go to my Instagram page and you can see all the new figures that are coming in the next year. Um, but I think they're already changing the way, the, the color, and I wouldn't say the shape or how these are shipped, but 
they're coming up with new packaging again, I think. Where those were all just Walmart exclusives, like the SummerSlam series. That's what I saw. Okay. We'll go into this one. I th think I know what's in here. It's been so long. <laughs> I'm still laughing at the Dunkin' Donuts bag. <laughs> Alright. This is from EA. It can't be EA Sports. This one is taped up, buddy. <laughs> Probably could have pre-cut these. Good lord. Alright. Ah! Oh, shit! <laughs> yes, this is the only one. I should be buying another one now that I think about it. Now, why she's still semi-relatively cheap. But it's Peyton Royce. I know I have doubles of Billy Kay. They'll be a part of my big figure unboxing whenever I get to that. But, uh, phew, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Ugh. So I did find their twin pack back last year around Christmas time or November or whatever it was. Yeah, I remember this. Glad I scooped that up now that I see this and think about this one. It's the Anvil figure. And I'm like, I just bought Anvil. But I mean, that jacket really is awesome. I'm sure at some point I can buy some bootleg uh, heart foundation stuff. Whenever I get my figure set up, I can do a heart foundation stable. I mean, they've given us everybody Pillman, but Pillman for looking from WCW, not Pillman from WWE. So, and everybody was going gaga over him. I know I scooped him up fairly cheap from somebody in my wrestling group online. All right, all right, all right. We'll get into this one. Another one from EA. It must be the same dude. From Las Vegas, Nevada. Man, you really taped these up, dude. <laughs> I have to saw through 10 feet of tape. It's not the tape we got to worry about. It's the packaging, but I guess that's all part of it. All right, get that off. Off. Yeah, this guy does do a great job of packaging. Usually, obviously, that wasn't the case in the last one. Huh? <laughs> okay. What? Okay, this must be what I bought the other day already? Just get rid of these. So, let me pause for a second. Well, this is what happens when you don't keep track of your purchases, because I know I just bought Otis and Tucker on Amazon the other day when somebody told me about them, but these are damaged. Uh, Mr. I only sell mint. I should be posting your name right now. Crease is shit. Crease, it's crushed. That's crushed. But of course, now we have Tucker <clears throat> of Heavy Machinery. Just beat the shit. Otis is all beat the shit, too. I mean, I remember when he sold these to me. I don't remember who, but I can look up on my account. Oh, yeah, these are mint. I sell perfect. He even gave me pictures. So, whatever. They're, they're my doubles. They're my openers. All right. And I mean, all this packaging, they still came crapped. Ugh. All right. Big box. Oh, this is from Hero's Hideout. And this is obviously a late night purchase because uh, right when it arrived at my door, I'm like, what did I buy? I still don't know what I bought. Oh, all right, all right, all right. I was a little worried. I'm like, don't be another Otis. <laughs> Please be in good shape. But I'm not sweating it too much anymore. Eh, he's got a crease in the back. But he's all right. Because I was a doofus. Ugh, that is a hell of a crease. 
but it's better than nothing. Uh, it's Luke Gallows, obviously. I did an unboxing video of these, I don't know, 2018, and then I sat on my butt for forever and a day and didn't go out and buy more to replace the ones I opened. And sometime last year I bought Anderson and it was like 50 bucks. And this, I don't even remember why what it was in Heroes Hideout, but I jumped on it because it was cheap. But this was my number one figure of 2018. I loved this figure, loved it. Um, no, I won't get into that. I'm going to have a wrestling news video coming out shortly, and I'll tell you all about Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. Uh, I don't want to give too much away. So when you see that, be on the lookout for it, and I'll fill you in on what I'm about to drop on those two guys. All right. I do have another package coming, but like I said, I couldn't wait. I was bored. I just figured I'd get these out of the way and uh, make a video. Like I said, like I've been talking about forever today. So those are my recent, I shouldn't, some of them aren't very recent. I've been ha <laughs> sitting on them forever. So those are my new figures to the collection. We'll just put it that way. Um, like I said, I'll let this video stew for a few nights, a few days, and I'll put my wrestling news video up. Maybe I'll make it tonight, later on the night, so I can do it in peace without the phone ringing and whatnot. But I'll post it in a few days. A lot of juicy stuff has come down recently. But um, that is it, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight figures. That was my recent pickups. Um, oh, shit. I'm glad I didn't end it. I said I had a Holy Grail item. I'm glad I just caught that. This is really the reason why I'm jumping on this video. Because, oh, God. I hope I didn't just... <laughs> Whoops. This is the reason why I jumped on making this video today. I'm not going to say who I got this from where I got it from, but sometimes stuff just falls into your lap. We'll just put it that way. This has been a grail item for me forever. There's a video that I'm going to make about the top 10 figures that I want to be have made, and it's going to be somebody that was in this stable that I, it's a dream figure. Uh, pulling them out. It's a thick, it's, this figure is complete. And it's a guy, oddly enough, it's the guy that I was just uh, looking at. Okay, so this guy that I'm referring to is Luke Gallows from SES. Granted, I would have loved to have gotten this in box. That is a grail item, another grail item that I want. Straight Edge Society days, the hat, the vest. I mean, even back then, they have the tattoos are uh, legit on point. Let me see. There's his gear from back in the day. Get a shine or something on it. There we go. I've loved SES like everybody else. Uh, if you're a real collector, you've dropped some serious coin on getting SES uh, CM Punk, just like I did. But uh, just imagine having that CM Punk, which I would have to buy a double from. Because whenever I set up my figures for display and whatnot, Imagine him, Punk, and Joey Mercury SES. That's what I'm one day hoping and envisioning for. But uh, I got this very cheap. It was somebody's dis display figure that I guess the wifey or somebody told him to get rid of his stuff. And I just happened to fun uh, stumble upon him on the right day and I got it for a great price. So this is the grail item right here. I should quit holding it up because it'll be my thumbnail if I'm not careful. And he's still very stiff. I totally believe he was a display item. God, I just can't. I can't take him or put him out of my hand. But yeah, there's SES on the side. I don't know if I kind of want to take the vest off just to see if there's anything on his back, but I don't think there is. I think I'm gonna regret taking it. I'm taking the vest off. No, I don't think there is anything on the back of his shirt. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. So let me put his beanie back on. I feel like I need to put him in a Ziploc right now and just put him off to the side somewhere. But anyways, guys, that is today's unboxing. There's my Grail item. Uh, SES, Luke Gallows. If somebody's got that in, on card, on box, mint, you can hit me up in the comments. Uh, we can PM, DM, PM. <laughs> and if you're not ridiculous, I'll buy them off you. So anyways, guys, that is it for now. For now. That was today's video. See, it totally brought me up. I needed to make this video. Uh, 
well, he was supposed to come today, but I actually looked in my mailbox last night when I got home uh, from work, and there he was. So I'm glad I, I hit that up and nobody snaked his ass. So that is it, guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Share this video. Help the channel grow. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can go there and see all the future figures in the following year that are supposed to be coming out. Tons of figures. Way too many. Just like I said this year, there were way too many figures coming out. You can't buy them all. Granted, I'm not going to buy them all. I'm only going to buy the ones I want. There are some pretty cool figures coming, but all of them, not all of them I'm going to buy. Honest, uh, even the, the ones that have probably never been made before. There's a Mae Young. I'm going to have to scratch my head a little bit if I'm going to go and buy that. Uh, if she doesn't come with her ring jacket or coat or whatever, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to buy it. So that's just the hint of figures coming out. So anyways, I'm not going to talk anymore, guys. It's Saturday. It's raining here. And uh, I don't know. I'm not going to rain any further. Thanks for watching. Please hit like. It's right there, guys. Uh, and I'll catch you in the next video. Mad Viking out.